Made by Nature and Madre Chocolate. And I'm going to show you how to graft a uh, new mango variety onto this uh, tree here. This is a, just a seedling on the base. It's already been grafted with a dwarf mango called Julie. It's another good reason to do grafting is you can keep certain trees really small because mangoes can get huge. Um, and I'm going to add a Raposa mango. And these are cuttings that I took from a Raposa mango tree um, about a month ago. And if you keep them in the fridge and wrapped up in this parafilm tape, um, which is just uh, used in biology labs. It's like a stretchy wax tape. Uh, you can keep these for, for several months. So I'll keep these all kind of in the field. I keep these all in a cooler with ice so they stay good. And I can have a stock of 20 or 30 uh, different uh, fruits available all the time. Um, it is very important, you're basically doing plant surgery, so you want to stay sterile. So I'm going to spray my hands with uh, rubbing alcohol. I'm going to spray my, my clippers. Um, and you can use any kind of just good quality uh, plant clippers here. Rub off some of the alcohol, you don't want too much. And then I'm gonna spray my knife. And this is a, um, I don't know if you can see, this is a single beveled knife. So you see it has a, it has a sort of slant only on one side. So it makes a very flat cut, which is what we want. The, the most common kind of graft is called a wedge or cleft graft. So for this, you need matching diameter branches. So I'm going to come in here and sort of uh, see where they are the same diameter. So that looks pretty good. I want to clip off the end of this so I have um, fresh wood that I'm grafting onto there. And basically, we're trying to, if you can get in really close, you see this green inner layer under the, the bark. That is where all the, the veins or vascular tissue that provide water to the leaves are. That's called the cambium layer. So we're trying to line the cambium of the, the, the new tree, the scion, to the, to the cambium of the old tree. So that's why it's important that they're the same diameter. So then I will clip off this branch here. And this I want to save because someone else might want Julie uh, dwarf mangoes on their tree. I'm just going to clear a little space so I can see. And then I'm going to use my knife to make a slit very carefully. I've cut myself many times doing this, so using very sharp knives. You, you want to kind of wiggle it, as you see I'm doing, and not not just push um, or like slice. You want it about an inch, so the more surface area you have, the better chances of success. Um, then when you're first doing this, you should always cut away from yourself. So you, you go like this, and you want to make basically like a V-shape in the scion. And as flat as you can get it, and uh, do it in one cut. If you have to come in and do it again, um, you wanna cut the whole thing because you see this has a little bit of like a, a curve to it. That's not gonna join as well. Okay, so now you see that nice, about one inch long uh, V-shaped cut and it doesn't have much uh, curve to it, so it will join quite well with the other branch. And I can use some of this parafilm that I unrolled from the Scion. And then I'm just inserting it in there. And uh, we want it to at least line up on one side really well. If you can get both sides to, to line up, that's great, but that's not always doable. 
And you can have it sticking out. You want to see a little bit of the white of the scion sticking out. Um, and then if it looks at least lined up on the outside on one side, you can start wrapping up. And sometimes it feels like you need three hands to do this well. Um, that just comes from doing it a lot you because you got to hold it in place while you're wrapping it so nothing wiggles. Or I like to use this um, uh, what's called buddy tape. It's it's like the parafilm but it's even stretchier like you can stretch this to many times its length. Um, and I use this to do the final wrapping. This is very expensive. This is like $35 for a roll like that. Um, so I only use this for the actual union area. I don't waste it on this part up here. And you can kind of roll this into a into like a cord or thread and you can get a lot of tension so it's bound really tight. And I'm sort of every time it goes around I'm holding it here with my fingers so that I can really stretch it out even more. Sometimes it breaks. Um, like that. And I can come in and do a third layer of the, of the plant tape, if I can get any out of here. So it's got to be a giant mess. There we go. Um, this doesn't stick to itself quite as well, so you definitely have to hold this in place. But I'm doing the same thing where I'm holding it, stretching it, pulling it around. And the, the plant will break through the, the, the parafilm tape and the buddy tape once, once it starts budding. But this, um, the green plant tape, it will not. That's too strong, so you'll have to eventually take this off. And then I just tie that off at the end. Um, and I put a plastic bag around it to keep even more moisture in. This is just a very skinny Ziploc bag. And finally, you want to make sure to label it. Because if you have, you know, five, ten different varieties on here. So this is a Raposa. Um, and where did I get this from? Manoa. I'm gonna put the date, 7, 20, 21. And the, the style of graph that it is. So I do a V for cleft graph. So we know, we can keep track of which ones work and which ones don't. There we go, and then we just check this uh, every uh, couple weeks, and if uh, you start seeing leaves filling up the plastic bag, take the plastic bag off, and then uh, maybe in three months we can take the green plant tape off when it's really strong. But you want to do this, tie this so well that you can almost lift up the entire plant just by pulling on the scion, so it needs to be super tight. This is a hibiscus graph that I did uh, only about a month ago, uh, June 8th, uh, I guess a month and a half. So it just started with this little thing and you can see already in a month and a half it's already grown to be several times the size oh, until I ruined it. Well, it's another good thing if you know about grafting, you can repair trees when you break them. Put some repair tape around this. Should be okay. It's just trying to yank off that nasty uh, stink vine weed. Wound up yanking this branch off. Probably also from all the winds that we've been having. So sometimes certain species it goes really quick. Sometimes it can take three to five months to really show that it's working. And I'll show you the citrus tree with many different varieties. 
So here's uh, at the bottom, it's a pomelo. Most of the branches on it are bergamot, the citrus and earl grey tea. But then we have like blood orange and red finger lime and blood lime and tangerines. And you can see here the key lime already has flowers on it that I did almost exactly a year ago. So you can get fruit really quickly. And then this is a bear's lime that already has some limes forming. That was also done about a year ago. So pretty soon this will have multiple kinds of fruit on it. Um, this is one I did two months ago of a curry leaf, which is a uh, kind of herb or spice used uh, for Indian cooking, but it's in the citrus family, so I decided to try it on here. Um, and you can see in two months it's it's had a, a few little buds, so it's not moving quite as fast as the hibiscus tree, but it is definitely working. And there's tangerine and wampi and a uh, different kind of pom dwarf pomelo down here, Buddha's hand citrus a Jewish uh, citron called Echag. Oh, here's one that looks like it worked. What's this? This is Wampi. So this is a special Chinese kind of citrus that has little berries that taste like orange sherbet. So when did I do this? A month and a half ago, so it's looking pretty good. It's budding out, so I can take this bag off, but don't want to lose the tag. So we remember what it is, because I, I don't have room to plant any more tree trunks in this garden, but I'm happy to add more varieties to it. So it's one of the many benefits of grafting. It's just kind of fun to see what works. All right, go, go, go out and practice on your trees at home.